How's it going guys? Alex here from Go Grand Soccer. Many of you have been asking me for a day in the life video, so I decided, sure, why not? Let's do it. Um, today is a Saturday. It is currently like 7.15 in the morning. Usually I wake up earlier because I have class, but today, you know, we have a Saturday, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I don't have school. Hopefully um, in the next few weeks, I'll show you guys my daily routine when I do have school. But for today, you guys will see my day-to-day -day routine when I don't have school. So I just woke up around like, I want to say five minutes ago. So I woke up around 7.10. I wanted to get a little bit of extra sleep in. So right now I'm just going to go and get a little pre-workout uh, and then we're going to go and get our lower body session in. Gina, good morning. Good morning. keep quiet but I don't know if any of you guys do this I'm pretty sure I'm like the only one but I like to add a little bit of salt to my apples so I like to sometimes just sprinkle a little bit of salt and it's not your typical table salt I actually use this uh, this Himalayan salt so it's natural it's nothing you would usually see from like table salt and stuff that for me just tastes better and pink salt has lots of electrolytes so it like kind of gives you a little bit more energy this is how i usually start my morning i'm gonna go eat in my room because my family's sleeping and i don't want to make too much noise all right guys so here's my little pre-workout we have an apple with a bit of salt a banana and a coffee i like to stick with this every single morning it's not every single morning usually i switch it up i sometimes have an apple with dates a banana with dates a banana with a protein bar an apple with a protein bar i usually switch it up the, more, the main thing is just getting simple carbohydrates inside your body so that you have a little bit of energy before you go and work out. Simple carbs are the best thing to eat before a workout. Um, I found out for myself. I like to have like a, a few fruits before a workout, like a few, 30 minutes to an hour before a workout. It just makes me feel a little bit more energized rather than having like a big meal two hours before. So that's what personally works for me. You might not do it, but I love doing it. And my coffee, I like to have my coffee in the morning you know it's like the only coffee i have in the day you guys might have seen that i added uh artificial sugar and not real sugar the reason i do that is because one i think it tastes better two um it has zero calories instead of like the typical like 35 to 50 for so for me that uh, kind of i can get more calories from real food instead of sugar many people might think that's bad but honestly i haven't had any effects from it and it tastes good so i'm gonna do it <laughs> but yeah this is breakfast and i'll catch you guys after <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished my pre-workout meal, and I forgot to mention that uh, I do do something in the morning before I start my day, and that helps me a lot, as not only as, as a student, but also as like someone who wants to stay productive and get their work done. So I have this thing, right? I have this little whiteboard, right, which uh, I like to like write down my goals for the day on, so that way I can just check them off as I do them throughout the day. It helps me stay productive, it helps me get the things I want to get done done. So I like to spend like, I don't know, five minutes just kind of planning my day before I and go and work out, go and do other things. That way I know exactly what I want to accomplish for the day. So this is what I have for today. What I do is something called the 135 rule. I got this from RickFit. So pretty much you have your main priority for the day, three, you know, smaller priorities for the day, and then five, like, even smaller priorities that are not as important. So for my main priority today, I want to get a speed session plus some ball work. Unfortunately, the fields are covered, so we're going to have to do it, you know, outside in the little road in front of our house and some ball work inside. First goal for one of the three here is post on social platforms. So pretty much what I do every single day, get a lower body workout, which we're about to get right now, a blog post. So, you know, so you guys can have some content, a 30 minute game analysis, which I personally like to do to like kind of learn more about the game and just become a smarter player on the pitch. Um, two, you know, filming a day in life. Three three to four just kind of working on the website and fixing up anything that might not be working as properly and then five just some laundry usually um you know during the school week gotta have like a bunch of homework assignments there and i try and finish those up and that would take up a lot of my time but since we're on break i kind of have like a little bit of breathing room and i don't really have to do any work so for the next few weeks i'm for the next week i'm just going to be like doing 
my own like you know website work and my own like chores and stuff so it's not gonna be too stressful which is good <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just going to go briefly over my lower body workout and what I did today. It was heavily focused on power and strength. So before I went into the bulk of my session, I did a few prehab and activation exercises just to get the muscles a little bit activated and a little bit more warmed up before I go into the more intense exercises. As you see here, I'm doing a few clamshells just to target the inner glutes to make sure I'm firing those muscles up and to strengthen them in case I have any imbalances in the area. I also include lots of stability work when I'm doing prehab. As you see in this exercise, I'm doing single leg skater squats on a foam block. This is just to make sure I'm building stability and building strength in my stabilizer muscles and also building strength in the quads and the knees because my inner knee has been a little bit tight, which means that it's either overcompensating for a muscular imbalance or it's just weak and it needs a little bit of extra strength work. So I'm just, you know, uh, killing two birds with one stone in one workout by working on my imbalances and also strengthening that knee up. So now we're moving into the main bulk of the session, which is the power and strength part of it. My goals for this workout were, you know, kind of to induce the metabolic process in my body of tearing down the muscle tissues and then, you know, allowing them to rebuild after and also uh, build power and strength and force production through my lower body. And I do this by overloading the muscles in my lower body, storing potential energy in the muscles and then exploding back up just to teach my neuromuscular system to be able to produce force and be able to release that stored potential energy in the muscles. In order to make sure I'm reaching my goals of muscle growth and force production in this workout, I'm keeping the rep range five to eight. Uh, keeping a lower rep range will focus a lot more on your power and keeping a medium rep range around like seven to eight reps will focus on hypertrophy, which is necessary for muscle growth. So I'm just keeping it in that rep range. That way I'm building muscle and also working on my force production.
guys so i just finished my lower body workout really good workout lots of strength work lots of uh prehab stuff you know just getting the body strong powerful um i can't do like my you know the usual like uh squats and deadlifts and the big heavy compound lifts that i should be doing but i'm happy with what i'm able to do here at home i'm still feeling a really good workout really working lots of single leg stuff and you know just progressing each day here at home the COVID situation is making it really hard, but I mean, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. All right, so here's breakfast. After my workout, we got just an egg sandwich. I always make like an omelet and put it on bread. And then we have my typical green smoothie. I'll put the ingredients right here so you guys can see. I my camera's about to die, so I didn't want to record all that. But the ingredients are right here or somewhere right there. And y'all be able to see that. All right guys, so just finished breakfast. I have that every single morning, you know, and I didn't want to record too much about it because my family was in the kitchen and I didn't want to take too much of their time. So I just, you know, just quickly made a quick, uh, showed you guys what I ate pretty much. But yeah, so I finished breakfast, I finished my lower body workout, and now I'm gonna go back to this little uh, you know, whiteboard with my goals for the day. And what I like to do after I finish something is I check off what I finished. So I finished my lower body workout, and now what I'm gonna be working on is just posting on my social platforms and then just working some stuff on the websites. So like I said, I'll just be working here for the next like hour and a half, just uh, you know, working on the website, working on the Instagram and all the other content that I work on. So I'll probably be doing that for about an hour and a half and then I'll catch you guys when I finish. All right, guys, so I just finished work a little bit. Um, I've been currently watching the Manchester United versus Tottenham game, but I had to get a little pre-workout. So we got our little pre-workout right now. We got coffee, an apple, and then a protein bar. I like to eat this, you know, around an hour before I train just to get the simple carbohydrates in there, get some extra protein, and just feel energized because today's going to be a very intense training session. I'm doing lots of sprinting, a little bit of ball work, so I'm going to burn tons of calories. So I need to make sure my body has the energy to do that. So yeah, I'm just going to gobble this down, probably chill for an hour, watch the game, maybe finish up some more work, and then we're going to get the speed session. All right, see you guys then. All right, let's get to the session. Feel 
feel free And I just wanna be, be me Yeah, I just wanna go so crazy I just wanna be a freak, yeah I just wanna rise to the top Yeah, I just wanna go reach the peak So I've been really well focused on success Hey, y'all won't see, yeah You won't see that I will get it Cause I'm really focused, man I make it with the rap And I just follow my path I just follow my passion To me, this is what's precious Yeah, in my soul, man, I can feel it So every single verse, man I just gotta go and kill it, man I gotta be the kid I could be the guy Taking you out I could be the villain I'm a good as a kid Lately I'm painting my path in my way Yeah, I got no time that I can waste So I've been sitting in the space Yeah, making rest every day Man, you know that I go insane Yeah, I hit you with a bullet to the brain Let us stop first cause we going, you going insane You don't know what I'm gonna do, you don't know what is next And I'm loving the fact, truly it's making me blessed Cause I work on my team, no snakes in the grass And we have been trusting the wind because of the work that we did in the past Because of the work that we did in the past Man, we went to hours, you barely got breath So I get the realm and we didn't finesse So I got the feelings that we might be next Cause when we go in, we win in the match yeah, yeah. When we go in, we win in the match So that's how we do, cause we be the best we be the best, best, yeah, we be the best, well, yeah, we be the best, best, nah, we be the best, hey, yeah, we be the best, best, hey, we be the best, yo, you wanna come up a test, whoa, you want to see we the best, hey, you don't see that we're the best kid, so I suggest you never really come and test it, but otherwise I will smack your face, like Michael Jordan does with a ball in the basket, oh damn kid, but you didn't expect it, you never really thought that this could just happen, but now I'm really come on and we pull out with the action, just keep on the feed, don't they don't get it like, That wasn't easy. Ball mastery is one of my favorite things to work on, to be honest, just in this little tight space at home. Those were new variations I've been willing to try, and Jesus Christ, are they hard, especially in a tight space like this. I really recommend you guys give that a go. But right now, I'm just gonna put on some clothing so I can go outside, because it's like 25 degrees, and we're gonna go do a bit of speed work and maybe a little bit of extra dribbling work as well. So I'll catch you guys outside. Feel, feel free and i just want to be be me yeah i just want to go so crazy i just want to be a freak yeah i just want to rise to the top yeah i just want to go reach the peak so i've been really well focused on success hey y'all will see yeah you will see that i will get it because i'm really focused man i make it with the rap and i just follow my path i just follow my passion to me this is what's precious yeah in my soul man i can feel it so every single verse man i just gotta go and kill it man i gotta be the kid i could be the guy taking you out i could be the villain with Good as a kid. Lately I'm painting my path on my way, yeah I got no time that I can waste, so I've been sitting in the space, yeah Making rest every day, man You know that I go insane, yeah I hit you with a bullet to the brain Let us stop first cause we going, you going insane You don't know what I'm gonna do, you don't know what is next And I'm loving the fact, truly it's making me blessed Cause I work on my team, no snakes in the grass And we have been trusting the wind because of the work that we did in the past 
Because of the work that we did in the past When we went to hours, you barely got rest So I get the realm and we didn't finesse So I got the feelings that we might be next Because when we go in, we win in the match yeah, yeah. When we go in, we win in the match So that's how we do, because we be the best yeah. We be the best, best Yeah, we be the best well, Yeah, we be the best, best nah, We be the best, hey Yeah, we be the best, best hey. We be the best, yo You want to come from a test Whoa. You want to see we the best Y'all see that with a best case, so I suggest you never really come and test it But otherwise, I will smack your face Like Michael Jordan does with a ball on the basket Oh damn kid, are you didn't expect it? You never really thought that this could just happen But now I'm really coming and we pull out with the action Cause people the feed, those they don't get it like the fact truly is making me blessed because i work on my team no snakes in the grass and we have been touching the wind because of the work that we did in the past because of the work that we did in the past when we went to hours you barely got breath so i get the realm and we didn't finesse so i got the feelings that we might be next because when we go in we win in the match yeah, yeah. when we go in we win in the match so that's how we do because we be the best yeah. We be the best, best, yeah, we be the best, well, yeah, we be the best, best, nah, we be the best, hey, yeah, we be the best. Alright guys, so I just finished the session, here's my post-workout meal. We got some pasta, about one and a half cups. We got chicken breast, a side salad, and an orange. Pretty simple, I always have this, like on a day-to-day. -day. Usually switching up the carbs, protein source, but usually the same plate of food every single day. I'm very consistent with my diet. So yeah, I'm just gonna gobble this down and we'll see what we'll do next. So I just finished my uh, my lunch. I usually have like a variety of that every single day. And I also prepped my dinner for later tonight because I'm actually gonna be picked up in around 30 minutes to go to church and get together with my, you know, my youth group. So in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna be picked up. So I just got my, uh, my dinner ready. It's just gonna be a big monster salad, which I usually have every single day. It's my favorite meal of the day just because it's so filling and so healthy and full of protein, full of carbs, full of micronutrients full of good fats. It's just the best meal for me and I really enjoy it. For now, I mean, I have around 30 minutes before I picked up. I'm just going to go and prep before I go to church. And yes, yeah, that's honestly a typical day for me when I don't have school, you know, just get my sessions in, get my workout in, work on the business, work on any schoolwork I have to get done and just enjoy my day, you know. Um, typically, if I wasn't going to go to church today, I'd probably just like work on I'll work a little bit extra on the page and maybe watch a movie play some video games you know what i like to do but for fun i'm gonna go get ready uh hopefully you guys get to see my fit i'm not that stylish so you guys will probably see that but yeah all right so here's the fit for church i think it looks nice literally copied off a printed uh, pinterest post nelly rate my outfit one to ten rate it one to ten <laughs> let's see yours how you looking? I'm looking pretty good. Gina, what do you think about my outfit? Huh? What do you think about my outfit, huh? Wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? <laughs> out of the vlog. Oh, shoot. Why are you vlogging? Because people are asking for it. Hello? Oh, they're asking okay. for a day God, vlog me. <laughs> hey guys, it is 2021. Uh, oh, God, today guys, so two, uh, February <laughs> oh, 13th, so <laughs> February 13th, 1644. Alright, don't be surprised if this makes it in the video. in the Grammys <laughs> with Paola. What do you have to say, Paola? <laughs> Welcome to Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen the card? Alright All right, guys, we just got home from church. My sister, she's making me uh, my sandwich in this morning, I think. And for me, uh, I have the salad that I prepped right before I left for church. It's just my typical monster salad. I don't know if you guys have seen my post on Instagram. It's literally spring mix, cucumber, uh, tomato, carrots, bell pepper, avocado, tuna, and then some other things in there. It's just a bunch of vegetables, full of proteins, full of vitamins, full of uh, good things for you. And we have some pita bread to go with it. So I'm just going to eat this and, I mean, 
Tomorrow's my rest day, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep a little bit later today. Probably gonna go watch a movie, you know, just like chillax for a little bit. It's been a long week. I'm gonna treat myself with a, uh, you know, a little cheat snack just so I can keep keep it up mentally, you know. All right, guys, just finished dinner. I always look forward to that salad. It is my favorite part of the day. It's just that salad is so filling, so delicious, and I always look forward to it. It's like always the highlight of my days. But yeah, you know, at the moment, I'm just relaxing on my couch with my dog. We were going to watch some Rick and Morty, and yeah, I'm just going to relax for a bit. You know, take the time to relax because I've been working and training all day, and you need that mental reset every night. I'd like to have at least one to two hours where I do something that I enjoy doing, like playing video games, talking to friends, or watching a movie, because you need that. I mean, if you are a robot and you can, you know, work and work and work without rest, then that's great, but... For someone like me, I get mentally fatigued really quickly if I don't have at least a little bit of me time. So for me, I think it's important that you have that me, that you time where you just focus on doing things you like doing because it helps you uh, feel relaxed. You know, if you constantly overwork yourself, you're going to feel overwhelmed and you're not going to want to do things uh, as much as you want to like to do them. So yeah, I feel like this just like hour or two hours of just quality you time is important. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here, watch some Rick and Morty. I'm probably going to have my cheat meal in a bit. I'm going to wait for the salad to like kind of digest a little bit. And then we're going to have the cheat meal, which I will show you guys in a bit. So I will catch you guys when I have the cheat snack. All right. So for our cheat snack, we are going to have this Halo Top pint of ice cream which only has 300 calories so this is actually healthier than you know your typical ice cream it has around 18 grams of protein for the whole container which is just crazy so i've been saving this for about a week it's not even considered a cheat but for me it is <laughs> so yeah i'll just have this and i'll enjoy it it's my cheat my one thing my one cheat for the week uh i haven't had ice cream in a while so i'm really looking forward to this but yeah I'll just have this and then I'll go to bed. And yeah, that's been my day in the life, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helped the channel grow. And I'm continue I'll continue to do more of these as well. Maybe make this into a series, I guess. I, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. You wanna come on my test? Whoa, you want to see me the best? Hey, you don't see that we're the best kids, so I suggest you never really come and test it. But otherwise, I will smack your face like Michael Jordan does with a ball in the basket. Oh, damn kid.